And when you think about it, the city of New Orleans is a perfect track backdrop for us to have leadership. Its culture is deep-rooted, diverse. Its residents are incredibly resilient, proud, and loyal. And I kind of heard this rumor that they're pretty good at throwing a party. Is that true? All right, good, good. You know, the last time we had leadership at New Orleans was nine years ago, 2005. Little did we know that seven short months later, New Orleans was going to experience the greatest and the worst natural disaster they've ever had in their history, right? So I'm not only humbled, but I'm honored to be standing here today in a city on a stage that has overcome so much and has refused to quit. Exactly. Sure, you know, some of the people, they moved elsewhere and some of them didn't return. But I'll tell you what, the heart of this city, the heart of New Orleans, was not destroyed. In fact, some would argue, and I would agree, that it's even stronger. Does that refusal to quit sound like anyone you know? Hopefully you're thinking about yourself because I am, all right? And leadership, it's a celebration of you and your accomplishments, and also of your refusal to quit when times got tough. And we've all had them, all of us. But it's also a celebration of the path that lies ahead. And that path is filled with possibility. And although the journey may not be easy, you've already proven that you have the perseverance, the courage, the grit, and most of all, the confidence to achieve your dreams. If you didn't, you wouldn't be sitting in this room today. I can promise you that. Now we're coming off the excitement of our 50th anniversary year, and just look at the momentum that you created. The number of NSDs, DIQs, directors, consultant count, all those numbers are up. Overall courts and unit circles are up 44%. Directors, directors, I'm not done, and neither are you. Directors on target for quarter personal sales, up 58%. Quarter sharing, up 44%. And directors on target for the trip, is up 36 percent. Y'all have been very busy and that's a good thing. Well now though our anniversary it's in the rearview mirror and it was awesome but we're not stopping we're not resting on our laurels we're gonna charge full steam ahead okay now we'll never be satisfied with the status quo and this year more than ever you have the opportunity to grow. I can assure you, you have every reason to be confident, there's that word again, because you're going to be incredibly successful in your business this year. And I know this, I know this, because I know what it takes to get here, and I also know that you have a lot of people around you to help make it happen. And here's a few more reasons why I think you should be very, very confident. You know better than anyone the power of the Mary Kay opportunity to change lives, right? Mm -hmm. And there's a huge population, though, that does not. The latest statistics show that unemployment rate between, for women between 18 and 24 is over 12%. Over 12%. And with fewer jobs for the taking, this generation is kind of redefining their terms of success. And money, while it's always important, isn't necessarily the primary driver anymore, right? I mean, it can't be. The gener this generation is searching for careers that make an impact. And impact means different things to different people, but I think we can all agree on this, that it's about something bigger than yourself. It's about a connection to others, a connection to the world around you. And people that are searching for an opportunity with meaning, this could not come at a better time. The Direct Selling Association just said that four out of 10 people, four out of 10 people have been approached to be in, in a direct selling company. And I should say only four out of 10, because that leaves six out of 10 that haven't been approached. And that's way down from just five short years ago. And here's the most important or interesting twist, really. The level of interest 
in learning about direct selling has increased from 30% to, to 26, increased to 37% from 26%. I'm a number guy, I have too many numbers in my head right now. But anyway, it's gone up. And furthermore, the number likely to consider a direct selling career has more than doubled since 2008. And those that would consider starting a direct selling career, they're really Gen Xers and Gen Yers, ages 20 to 48. So let's recap, look at it all together when you put it together. We have a large population of women looking for developmental career opportunities. They want to make a difference in this world and change lives for the better. And it all comes at precisely the same time when interest in direct selling is increasing, yet the number of people being approached about direct selling is decreasing. So what are we going to do about that? I know what I want you to do about that. Get out there and share the Mary Kay opportunity, right? Well, here's, here's a couple more reasons why I'm confident about your business and also why you should be too. First, our products have never been better, and I can tell you, the rest of the world is starting to take notice. This year, this year, Mary Kay made a huge splash on Project Runway All-Stars, right? Well, that represented a brand new and modern frontier, a different medium for us, quite frankly. And I can tell you, it was extremely successful. And we've also received, outside of that, all sorts of third-party endorsements that I could bore you with from the stage. But most importantly, this exposure is an incredibly powerful tool for cutting through the sea of competition, especially when you consider that 34% of women buy their beauty products exclusively at a drugstore. You want to know where one-third of your future customer base might be hanging out? Drugstore. So think about it. So we got lots of untapped potential out there. And also, recession or no recession, the average woman currently spends $43 on beauty products per shopping trip. That's every time they go shopping. Now imagine if those beauty purchases were exclusively with you. How big would your wallet be? Better yet, how big could her wallet be if she tried Mary Kay products, fell in love with them, and became your next team member, right? Second reason why I'm confident. The tools to support your business are stronger than ever. MaryKay.com is just named the best website by beauty fans worldwide at a beauty show in Paris, right? Three, 300 brands like Dior, Rimmel London, all of them competing for one of these prizes in this best uh, website prize. Guess who got to watch us stroll up to the stage and take top honors? All 299 of them. I wasn't surprised. They might have been, but I can tell you I wasn't surprised, and I hope you weren't, uh, weren't surprised either to hear that. Also, MaryKay.com, Mary Kay personal websites are now mobile optim optimized so your customers can shop, check out, and pay for their products wherever they are. I celebrated my 20th anniversary last year with Mary Kay, and I can say with confidence that the Mary Kay opportunity, the Mary Kay products, and most important, the Mary Kay people are better positioned for success than ever before in my 20 years. Now the last 50 years, they're behind us now, but the road ahead of us is filled with so much promise. The rewards are just there, and they're yours for the taking. Now Mary Kay often cited Thomas Jefferson, and I loved it when she did, and the quote was, in matters of principle, stand like a rock. In matters of taste, swim with the current. And this year, I challenge each of you to keep your heart focused on those principles which will never change. But keep your imagination, keep your imagination focused well into the horizon because there is no limit to what you can accomplish. So enjoy New Orleans, enjoy leadership, but when you get home, get ready to finish this seminar year and make it your best one ever. Thank you and enjoy the next couple days. Thank you very much.